Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. I teach ICT to Year 5s at the King's School in Whitney. ICT officially stands for Information and Communication Technology. My hope is that by the end of the year it means isn't computing terrific? At least for the kids anyway. I already love it. This is a short video showing part of an experimental session using a Raspberry Pi to control the switching of a light and a fan by manipulating a light sensor and a temperature sensor. The sillier the better though, so I added some sound effects as well to make it more fun. You can't hear it very well on this recording, but when the light switches on and off, the Pi plays a recording of me saying, it's dark, let's have some light, or don't need that light on anymore. Similar for the fan. Okay, anytime you're ready now. Go for it. There you go. Go on then, take it away. <laughs> Alright, so what do we think of that? Was that fun? Yeah. Does anybody else want to go? Alright, let's, let's, let's go around the room. Amber, you do it first. Okay, take the pen lid and put it on top of that thing which is sticking up. Yep. Okay, Sophie, you come and take it off then. Don't need that light on anymore. All right, Matthew, you've already done. So, uh, Caleb, you come and take the pen lid and put it on top of the light sensor. It's dark. Let's have some light. So I bet you've never seen a computer do that before. Okay, Lottie. Okay, next, Ella. It's dark. Let's have some light. Okay, who's next? Um, Zippor. Yes. Don't need that light on anymore. Don't need that light on anymore. We get bored of that, don't we? All right. It's dark. Let's have some light. Excellent. Keep going. Tim. Go on then. Excellent. It's alright, it won't bite you. Just lift up the pen lid. Okay. That's stage one. A bit closer. If you get a bit closer, a bit of a deeper breath. Oh, well done, you did it. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. If you kept the high hairdryer, though, would it? Come on, then, Matthew. Oh, if we were using the hairdryer, it would have gone very quickly and it would stay on for a long time. Cool. Okay. <laughs> nice smile. Great stuff. Okay. Uh, Caleb, you're up next. It needs to be a hot breath. So if you do it, if you do a, if you do a, a oh, you covered the light sensor. Oh, you, look at that. You get bonus, bonus points for having set them both off. All right. Come on then, Lottie. Okay. Have you got hot enough breath? Try again. You know, the huff and the puff and the blow your house down. That'll do it, surely. Do another, another one, another one. Yay! Sophie, keep your hands away from the fan. Okay. Okay, next. What? Uh, what sometimes happens is the fan blows it and it cools down and then it warms up again when the fan stops and then it, when it gets close to the threshold where it switches it sometimes does that that looks like a hot enough breath try again maybe too far away You're blowing on the little black thing Ella
Uh, it takes a bit of time to get to heat up sometimes. He's going there. Uh, I think it's Zippora like next. Black okay, black it's thing. the little black thing, but don't get your hair too close to the fan. That's it. Well yeah, done. Okay. You've done it. Okay, have like Excellent. Ow. 23, I think. Oops. We'll have a look in a moment. We'll have a look at the program in a moment. Stop turning on! Okay, Oliver. You made it dark as well. Look at that. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you did them both. Look at that. Because your hair covered the light sensor. Well done. And Timmy. It's the little, it's the little black thing, yeah. I think you need a second breath. If it doesn't work, do two in a row. Excellent. Let's have a look. Tim, would you like to turn the lights off for us, please? Oh, the light came on. But I've switched the sound off, haven't yeah. I? Oh, Let's have some light. Don't need that light anymore. It's dark. Let's have some light. So it worked. Don't need that light anymore. But now it's oscillating. It's dark. Let's have some light. Don't need that light anymore. Excellent! This shoot took place in late November 2012. The class have been badgering me to get it published and I'm sorry it's taken so long. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hi guys! Thank you to Mr Stephen Brown, the best and most proactive TA I've ever had, for keeping an eye on things so I could film. Thank you to all the parents for granting permission to film and publish this material. We had a lot of fun making it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspi TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.